Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 6 of season 2 of The Ancient Magnus Bride. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm about to say, y'all ain't gonna say anything to each other? Like, mmm. Wouldn't that be what's her face? Well, at least it's not the situation that I currently have with Over the Moon View. So I was gonna watch that first, right? And I got through the opening. Next thing you know, I'm hearing English. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe they're doing that for the episode or whatever. No, the whole episode was English. And I was like, no, but I, I know I had it as Japanese and English subs. I did it again, and I checked it again, and, and it was still English. And I'm like, okay. I just re-download another file, and we just start with something else instead. So we're just starting with Thursday stuff. So as much as I wanted this to come out on Friday, like I said... This whole weekend, these last couple of days have been very chaotic. As I said with um, the Patreon videos that came out earlier yesterday and stuff. Everything that's going on in this lovely little state right now and situations and stuff, it, it's nuts. So between Thursday and Friday, I, I was very busy. I had to, I was out all day with my mom trying to get stuff because the shit that's going down in this day it's just nuts i feel like it's going to get even worse I mean, y'all are always together, so, I mean, I always assumed that she was your spouse. Don't cry. I mean, damn, that was just like, oh, you're here? Lights off. Oh, my day. Mm -hmm. 
Alice, y'all are friends. We we all know you and Chisa are friends. But y'all are friends, regardless. Oh, many. That makes sense because being rewritten and such, it's different copies, making ones in so many different languages. Kid versions, so many different versions. Here we go. <laughs> we hope that that file right there. <laughs> Nihongo, <laughs> you tore it. Grayton? Is that how you say it? It looks good though. Right? Daddy Mary, oh my god. And Joseph, of course, a fucking course. Barges and mm -mm. what i'm already i'm gonna say it. i'm not looking at praying mattresses the same way now
bro, we need to really get his ass to the hospital. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Here I am now. It's just reminding why I hate Joseph. Like, go ahead. Cute with the teddy bear. It's so cute. And I get it, you want more with him. Yes. And that's why I should. Yeah. It's like rejection. Oh, we know. We know. No. So we could say agreement, something, platonic. I think it would hurt. You right.
you've had um, literally all day. Sure, mm -mm. right about that. On right now, but like, uh, <laughs> till the end, yeah, that too. It's not really always like that, yeah. When the marriage dies, or... All that matters. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> I can't with them. They're so fucking sweet. Like, it's too much. There you go. Tell him what you really feel and how you truly feel about him.
Oh, finally! Okay, let's go! Let's go! Do not fucking and I swear what the do <laughs> I can't even ask, like, hey, what is that and what that means? Because the person who I normally ask about this has not read the series in a hot minute. Oh my god. Bruh, I can't. Oh my god. Anything that the, the I can't speak. Anything, anything could be in the door. Anything. I'm thinking it was like you know, bodies or something experimental down there, which, which it could be, maybe. But at the same time, like uh, it still leaves more answers than questions. No. Questions rather than answers. Like uh, we're never. Are we ever gonna get it solved? Oh my god. No, no, no. Yee! This is too much. <laughs> I gotta wait till fucking Thursday. Thank god it's Sunday. Oh my god. I cannot imagine if I had to watch this Thursday night after coming home from work and just waiting. I'm like, I gotta wait a fucking week for this. Oh my god. I'm not the flowers. Okay, I, I love the fact that this whole episode really just focused on Alice and just her relationship with her master. And then just, you know, still the ending of last week and, you know, she said asking the question and such and kind of us getting our answer in this and everything. Just this episode was truly relationships in a nutshell or partnerships or agreements or partnerships or just anything else that you can see with them because in these relationships with these two couples if you can call them couples because yes one is a married freaking couple and the other one you know sees Alice as his daughter but Alice is like I don't see you as my dad and of course she doesn't want to see him as a, a father figure I, I don't think because like and I think this is something I even said when I was watching season one. I was like, she has feelings for him. But I feel like, once again, it's one-sided. Where it's just like, he can't see nothing but a child figure of her in her. While she's like, I feel like I'm having these feelings for you. And I feel like you will never reciprocate those feelings. And convey my feelings. And be like, oh yeah, I want to be with you too. And such. And so... I'm I'm not mad at her literally taking it off for like a day and, and you know still uh, well venting to Chise because in that moment of time and need who do you vent to but a friend someone who you really truly care about and such because you do need another person's opinion after hearing him say something that of course you didn't think or wanted to know or hear him say and that hurts your feelings you'd be like damn. So maybe we really shouldn't even, like, why are we beating around the bush on this? Because I thought what she really would have done in that moment was lash out at him, then leave, and then go find Chisei. But no, homegirl, like, literally just said, I'm just going to Chisei, and I'm going to go talk to Chisei. But it, the fact is that she felt upset about putting all of her baggage onto Chisei. Like, I get it. We've all been there. As, you know, people, like, you know, something bad happened. Like, okay, the day this aired, or the last week, last week was my hell week, part whatever, to the point where I had a, I, I was close to having a breakdown in the store yet again. The last time I had a breakdown was last year in March. So, I, I literally, 
promise myself that I would never have one, but being in the in this situation still at the store for a year now and seeing different things and interacting with someone and it feels toxic to me and I'm like, I got to get out before I end up breaking down again. And so that's what I'm trying to do. So of course, if you follow me on fucking Twitter, it's like, um, you could see that regardless, I am trying to look for a new job and such. I am doing applications like every single day. So hopefully between this week, <laughs> someone gives me good news because I, I, it just, well, once again, when you know it's your time to move on from a place, it could be a year and a couple of months, it could be two years or, um, excuse me, three to four years. When you know, you know, we, we get signs and I feel like this, these last few months, I have been getting a lot of signs and red flags and everything that it's just like, it, you need to go you got to get out of this and such. And as I said, if it's time for me to go, deuces, that's all I say to that store. You know, there are always other opportunities. And regardless, I'll be happy about it. But uh, this was a very interesting episode and take on looking at relationships in a nutshell, because not every relationship is perfect. Um, I do love the fact that, you know... <laughs> Literally, with all those that you say of them having a conversation, but the fact is, it's interesting because neither one of them couldn't sleep, and she's like, "Okay, let's just talk about our feelings right now at like what three o'clock in the morning, and just come back together as a unit." It's just so freaking sweet, and it's just adorable, and it's like I, I ship it, and it's just they they have romantic moments at times. We see that, like there was one in this episode. But then there are times where it's just like, oh my god, y'all so fucking cute and, and such, and I can't. I was like, I can't with y'all. This is too freaking much. Like, you're you're a couple, but then at the same time, you're not a couple, but you're a couple. It's just complicated, and that's why I love this show so freaking much. But that ending, I need context on that. See, this is this is also why I wish I read the damn series. <laughs> It's like last like all over again, because with the tragedy thing, and, and and that like honing over me, like oh don't forget that, and now this now honing over me as well, bruh, nah man, the, like and this is only episode six, and we're only getting like twelve episodes. Oh my god, but other than that guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 6 of season 2 of the Ancient Magnus Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, enjoy the Monster Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all on Thursday for episode 7. Bye guys!